So I meant to make a video about this uh, a while ago, but I just never ended up doing it. Uh, Ramos early push. I found it like a super consistent way of doing it, of knowing like when you're gonna actually be able to clip through, but um, I can guarantee fucking to you it's not gonna work now that I'm going to make a video. And that's kind of why I never actually made a video. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. Dash flipping into the wall. Dodging forward, like lining myself up with this center of this rock. And basically like my visual cue for like when he's gonna go through is um he will start he'll end up facing us and he's gonna um kinda get stuck there. Like that. Even though I'm holding forward, he's not gonna turn around basically, and then I jump. And then he goes through. And if you end up, um, there, I'm gonna press A right there. Uh, so if you end up in here, right, um, on if you're on 144 FPS, you're gonna kind of get stuck. Um, you're just gonna be falling, so you don't want to do it on 144. Uh, 120 is a sweet spot because if you get stuck in here, you can actually get on solid ground. I'm gonna show you. Um, you may, or, I may or may not void out here. But I'm gonna dodge forward so that um or am I did I end up on the other side? <laughs> well, the idea was to uh dodge forward into the corner and then do a dash flip to get out of there. I don't want this to be super long, so I'm gonna do it like one more time and then uh So I'm not gonna hold forward, I'm gonna do a dash actually you do wanna hold forward because I wanna dash into that spot. Now he's um looking Toward us, which is how we want him to be after the dash flip. You see, like it didn't work that time because he wasn't his little wiggle animation that I was talking about. Now I'm gonna jump and he's gonna go through. Okay, All right, one more time. Holding forward, and I'm gonna dash flip. Still holding forward, he's facing us. Then I'm gonna jump while holding forward the entire time. I'm not even gonna bother jumping there because he turned around. So if he turns around, I don't jump. Um, you want him to get stuck, and you know when you're holding forward and he's still facing you, is generally when you know that you're gonna get through. And it's really important that you line yourself up properly when you're doing the dash flip. Sometimes that'll happen as well. It'll do like a little bounce and you'll just end up like flying through the wall or voiding out. And if you're not far left enough, you're kind of lining yourself up with that little point right in the rock. There's a small, you can kind of see actually, there's a seam here. Uh, if you look at it and you're, you're behind an invisible wall that actually pushes you through. So anyways, do it again. Flip, he turned around, I'm not gonna jump. Now he's um, stuck facing us, so I'm gonna jump. And you don't have to spam jump. You don't have to. Uh, I jump late. I wait for him to be stuck, and then I um, then I jump. One more time. I swear, and the video's over. I was too far right. Now we're gonna jump, and we're gonna go through. So hopefully. That helps a little bit. Um, I don't do this skip because I don't, you know, I usually do my PBC through here. Even if I am doing a PBC run, I'm not doing this skip because I just, for me, PBCing through this is super easy. So I don't even bother with this skip because I can always end up losing time getting stuck inside of here or just, you know, fucking it up when I know I can hit that PBC. So. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps and uh, 
I'll catch you guys next time.